Hello everyone, and welcome to my first ASMR video. I figured that Gunpla is something that is very, would be very well, very good for an ASMR video, and yet there's very few of them on YouTube. So, I'm going to do an experiment. We're going to see if I can make a channel surrounding Gunpla ASMR. And if it works, I will continue to uh, make videos. If, if not, then uh, it's just going to end up abandoned. Anyways, I figured the what I'm going to do for this channel would be primarily unboxings, maybe a little bit of building, not entirely sure. So here we have a 1 to 100 scale over flag model kit. The flag is my favorite uh, mass production type mobile suit and uh, there isn't a regular flag 1 100 scale as far as I know but uh, there is the over flag which is uh, the same mold just different colors uh, I don't know if I'm going to paint this because I, I do like the black look of it. And I am a fan of Graham Aker who uses a an over flag primarily left handed. And you can tell it's his unit by uh, that blue on the gun. So. Let's get this thing open. So here we have the ace brew and a little sticker sheet. Let's get this open. Any, uh, sounds. But, uh, here we can see that this is where the hands come from. And, uh, looks like some of the feet. The, uh, face is right there. A part of the clear part of his beam rifle. And, uh, completely clear beam sabers, or I think on the flag, they're uh, technically called plasma swords. I would have, uh, I do prefer it when, uh, if they mold the beam saber on one piece, it be clear rather than the color of the handle. It makes uh, painting it a lot nicer, especially since you can get a clear blade. Seem to also have a uh, handles for the beam rifle and uh I think that's the crotch piece and uh, let's take a look at the sticker sheet I do not know where these go there's some uh face and beam rifle but uh I'd have to guess that uh these are some of the white accents on the chest not sure about 
these. Actually, maybe these are the fins by the head. I'm not sure. Actually, let's get a little bit of a more crinkly noises. This uh, next bag holds some marking stickers, a D sprue, and a B sprue. So let's see if I can open this. This is the uh, plastic that's a bit more uh, resistant, not as crinkly as the first bag. stickers yeah just over flag Let's see if I can focus it's just over flag the uh, D sprue here seems to be entirely gunmetal. Nice look to it. And uh, yeah, these are fins by the head, and they should have white tips to them, so that's where some of the stickers are going. You've got the shield, some feet parts, and uh, landing gear, and uh, some wing parts. This is the uh, bee sprue. Seem to have head, leg, and gun parts here. Let me know if any of these noises are particularly pleasant. Here we have another bag of the uh, less, it's less crinkly plastic, it's still crinkly, but not as, uh, not as nice as the first bag. So, um, there's the poly caps. Nothing special there. We have some, all of the white parts. You got the leg pieces here. Not sure where this one would go. And uh, these go on the chest. I know that. The, uh, you have one Graham Acre pilot figure. And, uh, looks like two people who are, uh, guiding this thing. Guiding the overflag as it's ready to launch. Or maybe coming back in from a mission. That was the G. G. Sprue. And this is the F. This is all the ABS parts. I do not like dealing with ABS. It looks like mostly the joints here uh looks like the blades to his uh, sonic knife i believe that's what it's called but yeah we have uh one more one more bag yeah this is the uh most crinkly just like the first bag. 
So I'm going to open this zone up. So uh, let's take a look at the C sprue here. We seem to have some of the flight pack parts, some uh, thrusters at the shoulder armor. Uh, yeah, I can't really point out where every which which parts go to what part of the mobile suit itself, but uh, yeah, this seems to have a. Uh, some of the, mostly the flight pack here. And uh, the last sprue is uh, this E sprue. And uh, this is kind of a dark, more black gunmetal than the uh, previous one. And uh, it seems to have some chest parts, some uh, maybe hips. Yeah, these parts are he right here for the feet. Um, that's more feet. These are definitely the upper legs here. Uh, maybe hip joints. I'm assuming that's what those are. Um, yeah. There's the uh, beam saber hilts. But the beam saber is also double as a sonic blade. So, Alright, I apologize for that. My uh, camera stopped uh, stopped recording. I don't know where it stopped. I just know I was uh, focusing on this part right here. Uh, but yeah, the uh, Sonic Blades, uh, they f ha uh, function as beam sabers. And I guess when there's not enough power left or something to supply the beam saber, or if they're in close enough range to use it. They can whip out a, you can, they can uh, retract the beam, and a blade, a physical blade, will fold out here. Uh, yeah, Patrick Colasauer used one with his uh, Enact in the very first episode. It caused a horrible sound for every, everybody was covering, in the stands were covering their ears. So, uh, yeah, I think that's actually a really, really cool uh, weapon. And lastly... We have the instruction manual here. Uh, you can actually make out which characters there. Um, I recognize that one there, but I can't think of his name. You have uh, the blonde is uh, Graham Aker, and the uh, one with the ponytail is... Uh, I can't remember. Is it Billy? I like to say it's Billy. a uh, illustration of uh, all the parts. Looks like several of the polycaps aren't used. It's showing you just right there how to build Gunpla in case you didn't know. And there too, I guess. So, looks like we start by uh, building the body. And uh, then moving to the head, the arms, upper torso assembly. What's next? I think that's the legs. Yeah, legs next. We got the uh, waist last. Uh, why don't you build the waist before legs? I, I always do that, so I have something to attach the legs to once I'm uh, done with them. There's the uh, legs and flight pack. The, uh, there's the center spread. Uh, all black and white. Very nice line art, though. I, I really do like that. Uh, designer's message for anybody who can read Japanese. This is showing off the weapons. I don't read uh, 
Japanese all that well. I can uh, read katakana and hiragana, but uh, I can't really uh, make sentences out of them, and I cannot read much kanji. I have, I think I know like 15 different kanji. So, it, it's odd. It tells you to uh, put the body on backwards. Okay, and then uh, after you put that on, the flight pack shield and his uh, beam rifle. Unfortunately, he only has this one. The, uh, a, uh, high grade. I have one one forty fourth has a linear rifle. I do like the lit look of the linear rifle over this one. Shows right here. Uh, sonic blade or a uh, beam saber. And the sonic blade, the folding one, collapses right into the arm it itself. And uh, last is transformation and an action base adapter. So I do have an action base ready for this guy. And the uh, last page is a uh, uh, paint guide. It tells you all the mixtures of paints. Well, I think it tells you what brand to use as well. If you were to professionally paint this. And uh, you have the... Uh, Many figures there too. Your assortment of weapons. And uh, very nice uh, posing on the back page. Uh, I'm probably going to display mine like that. So. Thank you for joining me in this video. I hope that uh, this was good for you. I I hope to bring Gunpla, more Gunpla ASMR in the future. So uh, if you want me to talk throughout the rest of them, or if my voice isn't uh, Making, giving you head tingles, please uh, leave comments down below. I will, uh, I will, if needed, just do silent videos, just with uh, trigger noises instead. So anyways, I will see you all at the next video. Thank you for joining me, and have a good day.